yesterday, I think it was yesterday, someone on Twitter said that he'd spoken to Ezra Miller, the actor playing The Flash, at a con, a Comic-Con, and that Ezra Miller told him that the Flashpoint movie was going to start pretty soon and that Ezra Miller was excited about it. Now, I know this was just a tweet and people can make up all kinds of stuff on Twitter, so I don't know. I'm inclined to believe it, but I'm not going to say it for sure that it happened because, like I said, people can make up anything on Twitter and just tweet it out there. But regardless, this, this got me thinking of the Flashpoint movie that DC's going to make and what they're going to do with it. And in light of everything that happened with Justice League and all that kind of stuff, how it didn't make that much money, and, you know, the Flashpoint storyline in the comics led to the New 52 and was a reboot of that French of that universe, I'm thinking that in the Flashpoint storyline in the movie universe, they're going to use it to do some time travel stuff, but they're going to do a soft reboot, not a hard reboot. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, you would think that given the rocky time the DC movie universe is having that they would be prone to reboot the whole thing and start over and there's a lot of clickbait you know YouTube videos and articles saying that they're going to reboot or they should reboot in light of Justice League's failure you know just ramping up the sensationalist angle and the salacious over-the-top headlines and stuff like that because that gets a lot of attention, but I don't think Warner Brothers and DC is going to reboot the DC, the whole, whole DC universe, because they're not going to recast, you know, Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, because the Wonder Woman movie did spectacularly well, critically and financially, and people liked the star of that movie. They're making a Wonder Woman too. DC's not going to restart that and recast that role. I also don't think they're going to recast Henry Cavill, because Henry Cavill... People, I think most people like Henry Cavill of Man and Steel. People like Ezra Miller as The Flash. People like Jason Momoa's Aquaman. Aquaman's getting ready to come out in December next year, December 2018. If that movie is successful, they're not going to restart and boot Jason Momoa out of that role and do a new Aquaman. They're going to continue with the same man in the role. So all this reboot talk, no. So even though Flashpoint in the comics was a reboot and does time travel and stuff, in the movies, I think at most, Warner Brothers and DC are going to use it to be a soft reboot of the DCEU. What I mean by soft reboot is they'll change certain things, but not the whole thing. For example, there's rumors that Ben Affleck isn't going to be Batman anymore after the Flashpoint movie. They could use Flashpoint as a way to just gracefully or I don't know maybe not gracefully if they handle however they handle it but just phase them out you know the flash goes back in time and or accidentally messes stuff up and when he comes back the timeline is screwed up and there's a different guy as <laughs> as Batman or Bruce Wayne looks different than how he remembered him stuff like that maybe they could course correct there were some things in BVS that fans did not like and you know, the Martha moment, stuff like that, and maybe Flashpoint could be used to say that never happened. Or that Batman and Superman were never even fighting each other in the first place. Because people did not like seeing Batman and Superman trying to kill each other. Not in the way that they were trying to do it in Batman versus Superman. So I feel that DC could use Flashpoint to just adjust things. I don't think it's going to be a hard reboot, not at all. There's too much success there. One of the things that people critics like about the DC movie universe, even if they don't like a lot of the movies, they like most of the people playing the heroes. And I think a lot of people in the audience like the actors playing the heroes. So that's the one thing. I mean, so that's not going to change. You know, I don't think Ray Fisher's going to stop being cyborg. I don't think they're going to have different people playing all these other characters unless, you know, one of the actors wants to leave. So I just think Flashpoint is going to be used to signal a course correction in tone and in direction for the DC movie universe. That's what I think it'll be at most. I don't think it's going to be a hard reboot. I don't think after Flashpoint comes, there's going to be like all these new actors playing the characters. No. If anything, Flashpoint is going to be used to expand the universe. If you notice in the DC movie universe right now, the superhumans who are alive on Earth in the Justice League, they seem to be like the first in public. And there were no superheroes in the past that the world knew about for the most part. 
But I think that in Flashpoint, you know, once Barry Allen goes back in time and, you know, comes forward in time and realizes he's actually messed stuff up, maybe he'll have changed stuff where there were superheroes in the past, like the Justice Society, you know, and people will remember them. Or maybe he'll, you know, go into the future and discover there's a legion of superheroes in the 30th century, like in the comics. I just think that Flashpoint will be used as a soft reboot and perhaps a potential expansion of the DC movie universe in different areas where it's not. It'll be a reason or an excuse, for lack of a better word, for the movie makers to go in different directions and a way for them to erase some of the mistakes that critics and fans think they have made. Now, I don't, I don't have any evidence. I haven't heard or read anything that this is what's going to happen. It's just a theory. But if I was a studio executive of our DC right now, and you know I was trying to chart a course for it, I would use Flashpoint as that part of the direction. That's the, that's the piece that it would play in the puzzle. And I think that's what Warner Brothers and DC are going to use it for, and I think it's a good idea. But what do you think? If you're a DC fan, or maybe you're not a DC fan, or movie fan that is, what do you think Flashpoint's going to do or not do? Maybe you think Flashpoint is just a horrible idea for a movie anyway. Some people actually don't, they aren't a fan of Flashpoint. Let us know in the comments. But anyways, thank you for watching. Of course, I'll be making more videos about DC movies and TV shows and comics because I love DC. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Like the video, I mean, subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you later. Bye.